Alright, what's going on guys? Trev back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing a video review for The Walking Dead Webisodes Season 2. Um, although AMC is kind of calling it The Walking Dead Webisodes uh, Season 3, but there was no Season 1, so I'm calling it Season 2. Uh, regardless, it's called Cold Storage, and um, I'm going to put the link in the description. You can watch it online. It's about four segments. Each one's almost five minutes, so you're looking about 20 minutes total, and it's really really good uh, I don't want to spoil the plot too much so I won't uh, you know go over too many details but um, what I do have to say is uh, it's really really cool it's got an unexpected twist in it and you've got uh, a couple really interesting unique characters that we haven't seen anybody like on the uh, television series too much and there is a really really cool uh, throwback to the television series in the second part which um, basically um, not to give too much away, but they're in a storage facility to uh, escape the walkers. And one of the uh, storage cells he goes into, uh, one of the characters, his name is Chase, is basically Rick's storage uh, cell. And so you see some pictures of Rick on the force. And immediately when I saw it, I was like, oh, are they going to sh show Rick and Shane? And uh, at first when I looked at it, it wasn't, I was like, oh, they couldn't get Shane. And then I looked to the left a little bit of this one picture. And you see, you see Shane staying there sort of half smiling with him and then Rick on the other side and they're, you know, uh, going through their police training or whatever it is to get onto the uh, force with the sheriff's department. Um, so that was a really, really nice tie back to the television series uh, big time, especially the fact that they were able to somehow get uh, John Bernthal uh, as Shane in there. Uh, I don't know if that was actually a picture of him, if he actually like came in to do a picture or if... They used, you know, some kind of effects to make it happen, but it looked legit, and it was uh, really, really cool. So I like that a lot. That was a really nice tie-in. Now, comparing this to last year's webisodes is like, it's crazy how much better this year's is. I'm actually going to probably watch it again maybe two, three times because it's like an episode, you know, uh, of the TV series, sort of. It doesn't involve any of the characters except for that tie-in right there uh, with the storage cell, but... Aside from that, it is really, really exciting. Uh, it feels just like the Walking Dead television series, pretty much in terms of quality and everything. Uh, almost, uh, I'd say, we see some really cool shots with surveillance cameras and different things. And uh, the ending definitely did uh, surprise me. So in terms of a score, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. I thought that this year's uh, webisodes for cold storage were absolutely amazing. Uh, the actor who plays Chase, by the way, uh, he uh, <laughs> the second I saw him, I'm like, who is that guy? I know that guy. And he's in um, uh, The Dark Knight Rises. He he plays one of the characters, one of Bane's uh, mercenaries uh, in The Dark Knight Rises. He's kind of, I don't know, something about him, he always looks sad to me. Like, he like he always looks like his eyes and stuff, he kind of he kind of looks like he's dazed, like he's permafried, and he's always sad. But, you know, he, he did a good job in, in the web, so it wasn't that big of a deal. Um, but, yeah, he always looks like that to me for some reason. If you guys don't know who I'm talking about, uh, you can see it in the webisodes. And uh, in The Dark Knight Rises, he plays, uh, like, he has a few lines where he says, uh, they work for the mercenary, the masked man. And uh, and then he, he refers to Bane as that. And there's some other scenes. He basically plays, like, Bane's uh, right-hand man, although he doesn't have too many scenes or too many lines or anything. But he, he's definitely there. I remember him from it. So uh, that's that. Uh, man, did they do an amazing job. Um I have to give this one a perfect score. I thought it was great. The only thing I would have liked to see is at the end, I would have actually liked to sh have them show uh, the kill shot. And then they didn't. They kind of showed it afterwards. So you kind of lead to the conclusion why they did that. Maybe it was budgetary reasons. They wouldn't have to build a mold for the person's uh, upper body or, or whatever, you know, just to save money. But either way, it turned out really, really good. And uh, if you guys have not seen the webisodes, this one you definitely got to see. I don't know if I can recommend the other one because it's kind of morbid and. I don't know, it's not that great, but this year's webisode smoked last year's. I absolutely loved them. Uh, that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you for the next one. It's Trev, saying peace.